Hi, I'm Joseph Roth, Public Affairs Manager for IKEA, and I want to welcome you to IKEA St. Louis. So this is what typically would be the lobby of the store here in St. Louis because we're elevated above parking. There's a vestibule before you get to this point. But this is where um, customers really get to experience the um, IKEA store for the first time. We have restrooms, we have lockers, and most importantly, we have a free convenience for our customers. That's a supervised children's play area where parents can check in their children, receive a pager, and carry on with their shopping. There are essentially three key components to an IKEA store. The first is the showroom, where all the furniture is on display in um, room settings, reflecting various styles of the furniture offer. Right below us is the marketplace, and that's where all the accessories are, such as cookware, lighting, and rugs. And the third key area is the self-serve furniture area. That's essentially the warehouse that's customer accessible, where customers pick up the furniture that they saw and were inspired by here in the showroom. IKEA recognizes our stores are quite large, so we have a natural path that guides customers throughout all areas of the store. That way, as long as you're on the path, you can never get lost. We also do have shortcuts throughout the store, so you can go back and forth if you forgot to look at something or you want to compare. Um, the path really takes you, so we have broad display areas on one side and room settings being set up on the other side. Right now, we're still in what we would call the commercial implementation or buildup of IKEA St. Louis. So a lot of the furniture is being placed, a lot that's being assembled. The folks don't realize always that um, just as the customers have to assemble IKEA products, everything on display has to be assembled too by coworkers. It's good training and orientation for all the new St. Louis coworkers. This is our dining area. So we have tables and chairs that can be mixed and matched um, depending on what your preferences are. It's also a good example of how everything needs to be assembled here at IKEA. This area is what we call children's IKEA, so it's um, everything for children. It's, but it's unique in that it's not just by function, it's everything. So you have children's furniture, you have children's accessories, bedding, as well as even toys. Now that if you walk the showroom, um, typically customers would have, uh, you know, need a burst of energy to make it through the rest of the store. So conveniently here at IKEA St. Louis, we have a 450 seat cafeteria style restaurant. Uh, you can see up close, we have the uh, hot prep and serving areas, as well as display areas for the cold items. You, um, meatball plates, salmon plates, American cuisine too, such as chicken and pasta, as well as sandwiches, salads. Um, we now also, in addition to the traditional Swedish meatballs, have chicken meatballs, as well as veggie balls. So while upstairs is the showroom where all the furniture is on display in room settings, downstairs here, the path continues but goes through each function of the home in terms of accessories. So we begin first with what we call cooking and eating. So everything you'll see here would be everything that you would use either on a tabletop, stovetop, or countertop. In our textiles, in our rug department, we have store, um, designs from Turkey as well as Argentinian cowhides and everything in between. Um, small area rugs, big area rugs, and more contemporary designs, more traditional looks, um, everything you could need, we have it here. So that concludes our tour our, of the build-up of work in progress here at IKEA St. Louis. We can't wait to open in six weeks on September 30th. But of course, customers can begin lining up 48 hours in advance on Monday, September 28th at 9 a.m. And then, of course, for the grand opening ceremony, we will have the flag raising of the U.S., the Swedish, and the Missouri flags. We'll have some brief remarks, and then instead of cutting a ribbon, we actually saw a log to help inaugurate this new home for us and welcome all of our guests. So we look forward to seeing everyone here at IKEA St. Louis when it opens.